Good day, War Commander players. Skipjack. Bear with me as I try to get through this one. Uh, I went ahead and made a posting to one page and was going to make several postings and decided not to. I would like to point some things out to you. And if you don't read English, go find somebody who does read English well and can read it to you in your language. If you don't understand English and you don't understand legal ease, I guess we could say, um, go to K to, to KXL, kickside.com, scroll to the very bottom of the page, and you'll see the uh, terms of service, and you'll see the privacy policy, and you'll see other things listed, and you'll also see your user ID. Okay, so I would encourage everybody to check the terms of service frequently. Um, used to be back in the day, as a player, this is before I was a moderator, I could see Kixi changing their terms of service at least once or twice a year. Sometimes several times in a year. Uh, for a short amount of time, before I became a moderator, it seemed like it was once every quarter. Again, that was a different company then. It was run by a different man then. I don't know how often they change their terms of service, but here's something that I do now as a player. Now, speaking as a moderator, again, it, nobody has asked me to do this. I'm just speaking my mind because, one, I can't believe how simple it is to understand, and, two, I can't believe how, how many simpletons there are that are out there in the game. So first and foremost, in the terms of service, it does say in the terms of service that you cannot sell your game account. I don't care if it's Battle Pirates, Vega, War Commander, Rogue Assault. I don't care if you're crazy enough to sell an old Backyard Monsters account, a Tome account that don't exist anymore. If anybody's stupid enough to buy it, you know, then that's on you. But that's my point. First of all, it's against the terms of service to sell your account. So if I see you posting on a Facebook page, if I see you putting it anywhere, and and regardless of whether I know what your account name is, I'm going to find out who you are, and I'm going to report you. I don't report you as a moderator. I report you as a player. I send in a ticket like everybody else does, the old-fashioned way, and I say, this person, here's a picture, Here's their real life name on Facebook. This is their game name. Here's their user ID. Yeah, all that information is really, really easy for everybody to find because you play a public game that's on Facebook and Kixi. It's not that hard to find you. It's not that hard to find your game name, and it's certainly not that hard to find your game ID. I report it. Because you're violating the terms of service. I Every time you log into the, the game, you agree to the terms of service. Every time I log into the game, I agree to the terms of service. So I'm going to turn you in. If your account gets banned before you get your money for your account, you're fucking welcome, dumbass. And it wasn't just me that reported you. If you're stupid enough to put that out there on a Facebook page and say, I'm selling my account because I'm bored with the game and I don't want to play it anymore, blah, blah, blah. Kick Size pissed me off. Oh, boo fucking who? If you don't want to play Kick Side games anymore, then don't play them. If you're bored, then walk away. I don't care how much money you have invested in the game. Reread the terms of service. Your account doesn't belong to you. It belongs to Kixi. I don't care if you spent five dollars, one dollar, ten dollars. I don't care how much money you spent. Ten thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, there's some of you out there crazy enough to do it. But that's you know, hey, as long as it gives you your yayas and your you know woohoos or whatever, and you don't have to buy extra double A batteries, you can spend it on Kixi instead. Hey, more power to you. But if you're dumb enough to post it out there, yeah, not just me. There's other people out there that are going to report it. But that's not what this pinup party video is about. This pinup party is about those numbskulls out there that are dumb enough to buy an account. 
from someone who's selling one. First of all, if any of us are in the process of reporting it that somebody is selling it, it's going to get banned. Boom, bong, smash, cratered, whatever you want to call it, or wiped from the map. It's going to happen. I've seen it happen. I'm not saying this as a moderator. I'm not saying this as a player, as a person. I've seen it happen. And then I have all these people send me messages say, oh my God, oh my God, oh, my account got banned. And I was like, yeah, didn't you just post two months ago on such and such a page that you were selling, selling your account? Yeah, but I didn't think they were going to ban me. Nobody bought it. Well, that's your fault. You violated the terms of service because you offered up your account for sale. So boom, your account's gone. It's not Kicksai's fault. It's not even the fault of the people who reported you. It's your own stupidity for doing it. You openly violated the terms of service that you agree to every time you log into the game. If you don't want to play it anymore, walk the fuck away, dumb shit. My second point to that is, is if you are crazy enough, if you have that much of a Neanderthal brain that you've decided to spend $150, $100, $200, $300, I'm talking U.S. money here, $500, $600, $700, I don't care how many receipts that you send Kixi, I don't care how many PayPal exchanges that you send to the company, I don't care how many MoneyGram receipts that you send. Don't you realize what a scam that is? All a player has to do is post on a Facebook page that their account is for sale. And then guess what? All they have to do, once you're stupid enough to send the money to them, and they cash your check or your PayPal or whatever and it clears their bank account, all they have to do is go to Facebook and fill out someone reported, someone hacked my account and I would like to report it as compromised. And then guess what? The leader of that clan shares what information that they have about when they started their Facebook account. They identify the original pictures that are on that Facebook account. They identify the activity that's on that Facebook account. They provide a driver's license, a military ID, a passport, whatever kind of identification they need for the country that they're in. They send that information to Facebook, and don't you think, because Kixi is also a game that's on Facebook, Facebook then shares that information with Kixi, and then guess what? The person who said their account was for sale, and you turned around and gave them 500 stupid fucking ass dollars for it, guess what? The person who owns the account, the original owner, they get their account back. You could send me pictures of the $500 that you spent, take a cell phone video of yourself walking over to the MoneyGram machine at Walmart, show me that you're handing it over to the MoneyGram lady at Walmart, and she processes the transaction, and you could show me your receipts for $500. It doesn't mean jack shit. Yes, my name is Skip Jack, and I'm telling you, it doesn't mean jack shit. If you're dumb enough to buy an account from somebody, you deserve, one, to lose your money, two, to be humiliated, and if I catch it, three, the person who did get the account back, I hope to get that person banned. But you know what? If they don't get banned, it's your fault. It's not their fault. They scammed you. Yes, it's a violation of terms of service. Yes, if I see it, I'm going to report it as a player. But if that person doesn't get banned and you're dumb enough to spend the money to buy it, and then they turn around and they contact Facebook and say, hey, I think my account was hacked and somebody compromised it because somebody's playing it and that's not me. Kixi may not have the resources to check every single account that is compromised, but guess what? You can bet your bottom dollar, your shiny little asshole, and anything else on your body, your nipple rings, and anything else that you decide to wear around, 
you can bet all of those things and more that Facebook does have the resources. Facebook will investigate it. Facebook will look into it to see who is the original Facebook owner. It doesn't matter how much money you spent, whether it's $1, $5, $500, or $1,000. It doesn't matter. You got scammed. Period. End of discussion. You're dumb enough to fall for it. You deserve to lose your money. Have a wonderful, fantabulous day.